Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So I am inside. We are hunkered down. Uh, we are waiting for the this polar ice storm, snowstorm, whatever it's supposed to be. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty bad, so everybody's uh, going crazy. But anyway, uh, we got to the grocery today, and we're good here. Uh, I've decided to work on some projects since I am hunkered down and locked in. Um, so, uh, my mom has talked me into making um, a lot of paper clay pumpkins and uh, selling them. So, um, anyway, that's what I want to do this winter. And I'm sure I'll have other Halloween projects that I'm going to work on. But here is the first one of the season. So, again, I make these with the uh, trash bags. Fill them up with newspaper, tissue paper, plastic, anything that will um, I can stuff a bag with. And yet it will still kind of form a little bit of a shape. So, uh, you can look back on my older videos. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a DIY on this. But, yeah, it's just the garbage bags. And then the... Uh, plastic and stuff to stuff them with and then I take the thin uh, masking tape and start from the top and make my um, just go around I think it's like six times that I go around but I pull that masking tape tight and uh, to be able to make an indention in the the um, garbage bag uh, you know to make your sections of your pumpkin so now I'm taking this brown wrapping paper that I never did use for Christmas. Um, I'm cutting that or tearing that into strips. I've got my paper mache paste here, um, a cup, three fourths water, and it is a cup of Elmer's glue, is what I'm using anyway. Usually I just do the water and flour. Got a couple uh, layers on here, just waiting for them to dry. And then I'll flip it over and do the bottom side. Once this is completely dry, I'll draw my facial features on the pumpkin. And here is a fresh batch of my paper clay. Turned out really good. So anyway, this is what I'm working on, guys. This is uh, some just things to keep me from going crazy. You know, hibernation and winter. This is what I work on. I also have Kathy LeBeau from Haunt on the Hill. I uh, got her on the TV for a little bit of inspiration. Here in this video, they're working on her Madame LeBeau's boutique sign, and it is pretty cool. If you're not familiar with Kathy LeBeau, I know I've mentioned her before, and she is my inspiration for all of this Halloween crafting building. Um, she's just an artist and absolutely fantastic. So anyway, so I'm going to let this pumpkin dry real good, and I think I'm just going to stick with the two layers. That's all I'm going to do of the paper uh, mache. I'm also planning on making some moons. Uh, you guys might remember the moon, Halloween moon that I made. Um, gosh, it's probably four years ago now, three. Um, so I'm going to be making some of those. But anyway, uh, my mom, like I said, she's encouraging me to make these uh, and sell them because, as we all know, Halloween is a hot item and Halloween sells. So, anyway, that is if I can part with them. <laughs> These might be the best ones I've made, and I might not want to sell them. But uh, So, as far as selling them, um, you know, I got mixed reviews about the Etsy shop. I mean, a lot of people said it wasn't worth it, and it's a, it was a hassle. But um, I think I might just advertise here on YouTube and Facebook, and you guys can message me uh, if you guys are interested in them. Um, or just anybody that happens to see happens to see them on social media 
Um, also, I'm looking into figuring out how to sign up for uh, local festivals, arts and craft festivals, and um, setting up a booth and doing that kind of thing. I know my hometown, Bartstown, uh, has a arts and crafts festival every fall, so I'm kind of checking into that to see what all you have to do to uh, set up a booth and sell. But anyway, friends, I'm going to let this dry and I'll be right back. All right, friends, well, that is drying. I thought I would show you how I'm making the, basically the skeleton or the base of my moon mans, if that's what you want to call them. So, again, I don't have my little tripod or uh, camera holder thing, so, um, these videos are going to be a little bit shaky for a little while, but hopefully I will be getting another one soon. But basically, I'm just taking this uh, paper that I had and kind of widening it up and making, you know, the basically the middle section here. Uh, and then, sorry, y'all, I got a little bit of a tickle. Um, so yeah, basically taking this and then uh, after I get a mess of that, wad it up then I will take uh, some of this uh, foil here and do a layer of that and then just kind of go back and forth between uh, this and the foil now usually I would put um, I would use duct tape I've used that before but I don't have duct tape so uh, I'm hope hoping the um, foil here will hold it just enough and I won't have to use duct tape so anyway, I think I'm going to make one more of these. So here is the little wad of paper that I'm making. I'm kind of making it into like a football shape. Kind of like that. And then I will take my layer of foil. I'm just taking a little piece of foil there and wrapping it, holding it around. Uh, the wad of paper. Again, making it almost like a banana shape now. And I think I do want the midsection here to be a little bit wider, so I'm going to add some more paper. So I added a little bit more paper. I am putting a um, dog pad in there, a puppy pad, and I'm going to wrap it up one more time. Just enough to hold it all together. And I was going to make a smaller, um, like here's the bigger one and medium, and I was going to make a baby one, but this one's going to be the baby. This one's going to be the middle one, and then I'm going to make an even larger one uh, now. So I folded that foil around and formed it into basically kind of like a football shape. And I'm just going to keep going until I'm satisfied with the size. <laughs> 